So here's your first lesson when getting courses. This is very common is for people to buy bajillion courses because you think the fact that you have so many courses, you're going to be the smartest person in your life. So why do I justify having so many courses? The truth is, is because they're all impulse buys. Like one day I wake up I'm like, oh, I want to learn to code. Uh, and I'm going to go and buy two courses, three courses at once. And then I'm like, oh, and then after a while I try a few courses. I'm like, oh, maybe I don't want to learn to code. Like this is how you could tell how long ago I bought. Don't buy too many courses. Start with one, you know, like why, why don't you just do one? HTML and CSS, then do JavaScript course, and then do React. And what you should be able to do before buying any more courses, you should be able to combine your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript knowledge with your React knowledge and create a simple app. Not a silly app, a simple app that you could be proud of. Hey guys, welcome to Coding After 30. In today's video, I'm gonna show you some of the best courses that you could take on Udemy. If you're expecting to see my face today, I'm sorry, I don't have a camera set up here in my bedroom yet, but let me show you my Udemy course library. It's so insane. I actually have two accounts. I have my regular account and then I have Coding After 30 account. And I think I collected more courses that if I were to take a course for next 24 hours for next year i probably won't finish the courses so with that being said i just want to show you why udemy is awesome and you probably know that and number two why you shouldn't buy every freaking course because you'll never get to them so my honest recommendation for you is at least start with one html and css course one javascript course and one react course so with that being said let's get to this show today by the way this show is not sponsored so don't worry i'm not gonna make any money from this but i just want to share with you guys some of the courses that i took and show you that i were to give you honest review it'll be from someone who actually took the course or at least just bought it all right guys so i'm gonna log in as my first account with my name and show you the insane amount of courses I had. I actually put archived some of the courses because it was too many. And then I'm gonna show you my other account. All right, guys, if you've never used Udemy before, number one, don't ever buy courses here full price. They usually have a sale almost like twice, three times a week where the courses are $10.99, $9.99, which is for the amount of money you spend on this platform. You're getting amazing courses. I mean, do your research. I mean, you have me to tell you which courses are great. But most of the courses that have, you know, five stars, five stars, 4.7 stars, whatever, practically five stars, they're great courses and you will learn a lot. Some of these courses I'm taking for the second time just because I'm crazy like that. Uh, by the way, I did take this Brad Travesty object oriented PHP course when I was doing WordPress. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think you have to learn PHP these days. I would stay with HTML, CSS, JavaScript first. And if you feel like you need a backend language, you will use JavaScript in the form of Node, Node.js as a backend. And if you still feel like, okay, I want to learn a backend language, and it depends. If you are going to do some WordPress stuff, you should at least know some basic PHP, but whatever. So Udemy is amazing. I can't stress that enough. So let's take a look at all the courses I have. So I have my courses here. By the way, I also have a lot of courses archived. So look, man, look at this. Look at, uh, damn, goes all the way to 10. Let's see it. What's the next page? I'm just going to see it's a lot of courses. So here's your first lesson when getting courses. This is very common is for people to buy bajillion courses because you think the fact that you have so many courses, you're going to be the smartest person in your life. So why do I justify having so many courses? Uh, the truth is, is because they're all impulse buys. Like one day I wake up, I'm like, oh, I want to learn to code. Uh, and I'm going to go and buy two courses, three courses at once and then i'm like oh and then after a while i try a few courses i'm like oh maybe i don't want to learn to code like this is how you could tell how long ago i bought ruby programming for beginners when ruby was in its high and it was all the rage in the world uh completed 35 percent by the way uh because my friend told me like you should probably learn javascript instead so let me just show you some of the best uh classes or courses that you guys should take now the first course i would recommend is html and css and i'm gonna search here 
let's see here so our card courses are the ones that i finished completely or almost completely so i'm gonna start here i love brad travesty so anytime i could recommend you guys to buy his courses that's what i would recommend so i have his actually this is perfect because there's plenty of other courses i would recommend but what i would recommend for you guys and you could see 98 percent complete 100% complete. So I would start with this course here, Modern HTML and CSS. Oh my God, it's gonna start playing, isn't it? Automatically, I don't wanna play it. A familiar sound that everybody loves. So this Modern HTML, I guess I could play it a little bit more so you can see nice background. So this Modern HTML and CSS from the beginning is an amazing course. It covers everything you need to know to get started. If you do this course, just this course, I feel you will be ready to understand HTML and CSS enough to get stuff done. And if you feel like you don't know enough, you at least know where to look it up. Not to mention he covers Flexbox and he covers uh, CSS Grid and you do build some pretty cool uh, projects. So definitely check out this course. So my, you know what, today's theme is gonna be Brad Travesty. So the second course I would recommend for you guys to take is Modern JavaScript from the beginning. Another amazing course. Like I said, if you're looking to learn React but you don't know any JavaScript, this is where you start. You're gonna learn the basics of the language, you know, from how to define variables, what are if statements, for loops, while loops, everything basically that you need. But you're also gonna do DOM manipulation with JavaScript, which is if you're doing this for web design, you have to know. And you will also cover some common patterns that they use when building JavaScript apps. So again, this is another amazing course. I completed it 100%, why? Because that's how I do it here on this channel. Uh, but definitely check it out. So if you're gonna take courses, don't take a million courses, take one for each subject you wanna learn, and then just try to build stuff. And if you feel like you need to take another course, probably don't until you build a few things first. And anything else that you need to do, you could look it up. Now, this is coming from a guy who aspires to one day, one day to sell his own courses. But for now, if you wanna get good, do less things more times, if that makes sense for you guys. And so the final course that I'm gonna recommend, and by the way, uh, Brad Travesty has Modern React, also a course I would recommend. I did not take it yet. I do have that course, but I think he now has Modern React or what have you. I mean, I'm so woke, I guess, that I have two courses, React Front to Back, React Front to Back by Brad Travis. So I didn't take these two courses yet. I know they're gonna be awesome and amazing. So definitely, if you were to take a course I would recommend starting with those three courses, HTML and CSS, JavaScript, and React Front to Back by Brad Travesty. But like I said, I didn't take this last course. So let me show you the course that I would recommend to take. All right, now looking at this, there's so many React courses that I have and really depending on where you are in your journey, I would recommend just sticking with Brad Travesty React course or another great instructor is Andrew Mead. There's another, there, Steven Grinder is another good one. Academine by Maximilian, another great guy. I really like John Smigler too. That's one of the courses that, this is a massive course. I'm 54% complete with it, but halfway through this course, I got my job. So anyway, so as you can see, there's a lot of courses. So instead of recommending any more courses for you guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about this whole idea that there's way more courses that you could possibly take and there's this procrastination through buying courses so if you could help it and listen to my advice what i would recommend is don't buy too many courses which you probably will because everybody likes spending money i should make a course one day first i'm going to make a bunch of free ones for you guys because i love you guys but don't buy too many courses start with one you know like why, why don't you just do one html and css then do JavaScript course and then do React. And what you should be able to do before buying any more courses, you should be able to combine your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript knowledge with your React knowledge and create a simple app. Not a silly app, a simple app that you could be proud of. So with that being said, not gonna talk anymore about my course libraries. <laughs> Actually, let me just show you. So that was my one account. You saw a bajillion number of courses I have. 120 courses. I have 120 courses on Udemy. You know, the least amount of money I spent for this is like 10 bucks. So I have $1,200 worth of courses that I bought from Udemy. I'm proud of it, by the way. So let me go to my other account just to prove a point here. So I did say I have 
couple accounts. It's a long story why I have two accounts, but coding after 30 is another account here. So let's take a look at this channel. And I just bought this course literally for no reason. I, I probably know everything in this course already. Let's see how many courses I have in this account. My courses, let's see. 55 courses. I have 55 courses in this account. So the, here's the point. And I really wanna help you guys to be the best that you could be, learn and get to your first job as quickly as possible. Don't over complicate things by trying to get the greatest, newest thing ever. I mean, don't buy courses that are more than a year old or so. In this field, it's, it, it's rough. I've done that a couple of times. You know, buy the most recent course you can, but at the same time, don't buy too many. I'm gonna say it again. All you need is one HTML and CSS course, one JavaScript course, and one React course. And everything else you could Google and God damn it, I'll make some tutorials. But just stop buying tutorials and just start coding and doing more stuff. I'm just gonna quickly touch on this. Why do I have some social media marketing courses? Why do I have, like not so apparent here, but I have a lot of marketing courses. And the another reason is nobody knows who you are. So you could have a piece of paper, and which is nice if you go and finish a degree at MIT and get a computer science degree, that uh, no matter where, who you are, the piece of paper means something, right? Going to a boot camp means something. But if you're self-taught, right, you have to understand there's gonna be a lot of competition and you're gonna be competing against people that stand out because of their piece of paper, because of their other accomplishments. So this is where I, my channel is literally coding after 30, learn to code, build a brand, start a business, and that's how you have to think because you're gonna to have to market yourself, you're gonna to have to lift yourself above the rest to get noticed. And then again, that only applies if you never went to college and maybe you older like me starting out, like you're gonna to have to figure out how to make yourself stand above the rest. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to do some of these talking head videos. I feel bad because I love showing my face on camera, but at least maybe some of you guys are thankful. But when I set up my camera, maybe I'll do a combination where you see part of my face, part of it don't. But the whole point is, it's not my face, it's the value I provide on this channel. So if you liked what you saw, or hated it, let me know in the comments below. And any suggestions or tips you guys have for me, I'm still a student as well. This coding game never ends. You just keep going and going. But with that being said, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.